There is fire on the mountain. This is a popular song by one reggae artist. APC house is crumbling. Those that did not get the ticket to return to the Senate are seriously planning to move away. APC moved to prevent 18 senators diversion. Imagine 18 senators defecting to, I'm sure, Labour Party or PDP. And this will be a big crack in the world of APC. Well, welcome to the news. If you are new there, thank you for your support now, always. And if you have been just been supporting, thank you. And if you are new, kindly subscribe. The ruling of Progressive Congress APC yesterday moved swiftly to avert a likely slide into the minority in the Senate. Dr. Risky. 18 more senators elected on the platform of the party are believed to be heading out to join opposition political parties. Should this happen, the APC could lose its majority status. Already, the party has lost seven senators to the People's Democratic Party and the New Nigerian People's Party. Those who defected as Senators Yahya Abdullahi, Adamu Alero, Ahmad Babakar Tai, Aleru Jekka, Francis Ali Mekena, Ibrahim Shekarao, and Lawa Yahya Gumao. To avoid further defections, National Chairman Abdullahi Adamu led Deputy National Chairman Abubakar Kiari and National Secretary Iyolo Mishuri, all of them former Senators, to a two-hour meeting with the APC caucus in the Senate yesterday. Adamu pleaded with the Senator, many of who are displeased with the outcome of the primaries, to have a rethink and allow the party to address their grievances. I hope it is not too late. It was learned that some governors were persuading the Senators to share their planned defection. The APC has 62 Senators, PDP 39, NMPP 3, Young Progressive Party 2, Labour Party 1, and All Progressive Grand Alliance 1. Both Senators Adamu and Chiari, who resigned after their election into party offices, have not been replaced. It was gathered that the affected Senators, some of whom lost the return tickets, have got juicy offers from the PDP. You can see. I know it was because they lost the ticket to return into the National Assembly. Everything is about self. Where is the sacrifice for your party, for God's sake? This politician, so how are we sure that when they move to the other party and things is not working their way, they will not move to another party? Is that the kind of party politics we want to play in this country? If the thing is good for you, you stay. If it is not looking good, you move away. We cannot grow like this. If, 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 the kind of, if we want to continue to practice this kind of politics in this country, there's no way we can evolve, there's no way we can learn, there's no way we can grow. If you didn't get a, a party, I mean, the ticket to return to the, Senate, the, the National Assembly, you go back to your party, re-strategize, well, whoever gets there, mentor him, and get things done to the right. But all because it's self, 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 self. And that's why the nation's where we are. Everybody just thinking of ourselves. We go there, they think about to order things for themselves, their families, and not him. But for those, for the sake of not getting the return ticket, they want to move to the party. Well, okay, if we win, we'll be made a minister, we'll be made chairman of the chairman of that. Everything. Nothing about the country, but themselves. Source of the session party, between party leaders and the APC Senate caucus, said the senators highlighted their grievances as follows. Alteration of delegate list by governors, conduct of primaries in defiance of APC and INEC guidelines, a jack of party primaries by APC governors, non-return of experienced, hard-working and committed senators, party disrespect for a gentleman agreement with the Senate and House of Representatives, caucuses, to concede slot to senators with robust experience, robust experience that is not showing, robust experience that your immediate environment is not benefiting, Robust experience that even the nation has not gained anything from. Is that what you call robust experience? Experience should be able to bring in results. Experience should be able to add value. Not just gathering experience, sitting there for 20 years, and just because you are just counting years, but we have not seen any meaningful thing. 
that you have contributed, whether at the state, national level, or at the national level. You are not saying robust experience. How can you use robust experience without productivity as a yardstick to bring somebody back to the city? There are people, if there are better people that can replace them, let them be replaced. Don't continue to say, yes, I've been there, so I must remain, continue to be there. If you are not adding value, if you are not bringing any positive result, there's no point sitting there. It is not to go, to go there and sit down and be sleeping in the yellow chambers or just go there to just your own, for your own personal ego. Yes, a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is not what we want for this nation. Preference for money bags and defectors. A source at the meeting said the senators were led to the section by President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan. I hope he's not the one spearheading this because he lost the ticket to, to return to the National Assembly. The discussions bordered on the increasing depletion of the APC Senate caucus and planned by 18 more senators to defer to opposition parties, especially the PDP. Why the PDP? Why? I hope this is not a game. The party leadership has not, was not comfortable that APC might end up losing its majority. The way we are going, the coalition of opposition parties may end up controlling the leadership of the Senate. The better guide against it. Well, they have one year more. So we have 18 senators on standby to move to other parties to prove a point during the 2023 general election. Another senator who spoke in confidence said it was apparent to APC national chairman that senators were not happy and they were not ready to change their minds. In fact, the party leadership went on to consider options to assuage the aggrieved senators with offers, including substituting some already elected senators, senatorial candidates, among others. La one said it was not in the interest of APC to lose its quality lawmakers and the National Assembly. He begged the APC senators to allow the party to look into their complaints. The APC national chairman said he was not in the office when delegates were elected. But he assured that the party will look at the immediate and long-term solution to the issues raised by the senators, including some defective primaries. He reminded the senators that the tickets for elective office belong to the party. Another senator added, some governors are already inviting senators for talks on the way out of the challenges at hand. Adamu described the defection of senators as both unfortunate and worrisome. He told reporters that the meeting with the senators was fruitful. Adamu said this is an unfortunate development when it happens, but this is a season for all manner of behavior in the political space in the country. And Nigeria is not an exception. But as a leader of the party, you must be able to galvanize and put people together to make sure that calamity or disaster did not befall your party. Otherwise, you are just digging the grave of that party. In every election year, this kind of things give cause for stakeholders to sneeze, and Nigeria is not an exception. So is the APC. I don't care about what is happening in other parties. My focus is on the APC. It will not be a focus. Well, this, we hope it will not lead to the break of PD APC, like it happened in 2015, where another fascia came from PDB to merge with APC. Well, what is your opinion about this drive? To make sure that they did not defect to another party. 18. This is more. Well, what is your opinion? Kindly make it known and subscribe to my page. Thank you. Good day and God bless.